from these uh, early roles where you were really not sure that you wanted to even stick with this, right through Last Picture Show, Fat City, then there was this, this amazing turning point that you've talked about with the Iceman Cometh, then I guess I wonder if you can just, you, you weren't even gonna do that one. Right, I was, you know, I still have this, uh, this feeling after a lot of you know, movies, you use a kind of a pretend muscle. I don't know what, what else to call it. It's something that uh, kind of gets um, fatigued, you know, after doing a movie. And I, I usually don't feel like pretending anymore. I want to do something kind of, you know, real, you know, like make some art or something. And I just finished a movie. I had a great time on it uh, called uh, The Last American Hero about, um, you know, a stock car, yeah. you know, racer. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, it was a great, uh, a great time. The director, Lamont Johnson, was wonderful to work with. And uh, about a week after that, that movie wrapped, uh, I was, you know, just kind of relaxing, you know, just you know, relaxing. And I get a call from my agent. He's very excited. He says, you've just been offered uh, to... Uh, a part of The Iceman Cometh, directed by John Frankenheimer, starring um, Lee Marvin, Robert Ryan, and Frederick March. And I said, oh, that's, that's great. Um, <laughs> you know, tell him thanks, but I'm gonna pass. He says, you're gonna pass. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm bushed. You know, he's, he says, okay. You know. And about five minutes later, Lamont Johnson calls me up and he has a low voice. He says, I, I understand that you turned down John Frankenheimer and, and the Iceman cometh. And I said, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm bushed, Lamont, you know. He says, you're bushed. You're an ass. And he hung up, he hung up on me. So I thought, uh, and I do this from time to time. I'll do, I do a little experiment on myself, you know. I, I, I say, well, because I was curious if this acting thing was, you know, something I was cut out for for my whole life, yeah. you know. Even though I had won, the, you know, a good nominator yeah. and stuff, I, I still wasn't sure if that's what I wanted to do, you know. And uh, so uh, I said, I, you know, I'll do a little experiment. I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm struggling with whether I'll do this acting thing or not. Uh, I'm, I definitely don't want to do this movie, and I'm just going to do it, and maybe this will be the final nail in the acting coffin. You know. So I threw myself into this thing and had a, uh, a really an amazing time. It was quite unique for a number of reasons. Uh, one was that most movies, if you're lucky, you've got a couple of weeks rehearsal, then you shoot it for eight, ten weeks, or whatever the schedule is. This one, we rehearsed for ten weeks, and then we shot for two weeks. And it was the American Film Theater, I think, the American Express card was putting, putting it out. And, uh, and we shot the whole play, and we shot it like, you know, like a play, long takes. They had these huge... Uh, mags on the cameras that would, you know, go for 10 minutes at a time. And um, I got to uh, spend that rehearsal time with these great old masters, you know. And, uh, and one of the things that I, um, I was struggling with as far as, uh, you know, whether I wanted to do this or not was the anxiety and the, uh, the fear, this thing that you're talking about. And in the, in the rehearsal period, I could see these old guys, Frederick March, man, being so upset and so, you know, whipping himself, you know, wanting, you know, wanting to do justice to this great material, you know, and afraid he's not, I can't remember my lines, ah, you know, all those things. And, and Lee Marvin, all of the guys were like that. I had a scene with, most of my scenes were with Robert Ryan, and he was, you know, a wonderful actor. I admired him his acting so much, and uh, we were at a table uh, doing the scene, and he had his hands on the table there. We're waiting for the, you know, the guys to say, all right, we're rolling, you know, and before they say that, they say, all right, people, get ready, you know, and you're, 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 you're you know, it's very hard not to tense up, you know, when they say, all right, get ready, all right, okay, now people, be quiet, here we go, and uh, oh, wait, we go, 
air in the gate or some light has to be fixed. And he takes his hands off the table and then these big puddles of sweat there. And I said, Bob, God, after all these years, you're still, you're scared? scared? And he says, oh, I'd really be scared if I wasn't scared, yeah. <laughs> Just said flat like that. And I realized that, oh, that never goes away. It's all about um, how you befriend that feeling and what you do with it and uh, how you, really how you work you with it. That was your, hmm? that was when you um, decided that this was, this was doable, right? Well, I figured, you know, those old guys can do that. They don't, I don't have to worry about, if, you know, because I had done about 10 films and, I, and it wasn't going away. Right. I was waiting for it to kind of relax, you know, but it didn't go, it still doesn't. I'm still anxious as hell. <laughs>